Hey uh, folks, Quilly Teen here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Stellaris here in the Quillian Bureaucracy. And I'm having so much fun with this session of Stellaris. I gotta say, all these changes um, and everything are really making the game so much more exciting to play. Um, and I can't stop playing. Now, there's good and bad things to that. The good thing is that, I mean, we've got lots of episodes coming uh, as I pre-record lots and lots and lots of content. The bad thing is, it really means I can't be very responsive, because just for, um, just for your, like, yardstick here, uh, it is June the 2nd as I'm recording this episode, and I suspect you won't see this thing for well over a week. Uh, and I'm probably going to be recording more than one episode today, because Stellaris, man, it's awesome. Ooh, level 5 scientist. I don't think we need that level 5 scientist anymore. I don't remember. Um, you're complete, you're complete. Yeah, so we're, we're done all the... Uh, all the precursor artifacts that we know about. We still can't collect anything, which is annoying. We're waiting for that. We've got some Debris somewhere. Hold on. Where do we have some Debris? Way out here. You. Go. Scan that. Thank you. And we've just finished Uplift. Okay, we're going to take a look at that in just a moment. Um, do -do 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 -do. I think we're just going to go for something cheap that might end up leading to other stuff down the road. One of our planets... Sure, that's fine has, um, where's our species? Presentient, the sign. Um, so there you go, so uplift. I'm, I don't know if I've ever done this before. Then we can actually start to go to work with these guys. This is the planet they originate on. So let me just pause a sec here. Oh yeah, there's the planet. So the Xeno Archaeology planet. Oh. Has one, two, three of these bad boys. So yeah, so what can we do with them? Uh, select all four race picks. Irradiated. Oh! They have really good tomb world habitability. How come we can't pick this? Trait picks left. Oh! Oh, that's number, but trait points over here. Planet preference. I guess we could tune them to be more suited to a different type of planet to make it easier for us to expand. Like, we don't have any cold world stuff, right? There's some decent arctic worlds. We could do that. And it doesn't look like it changes the cost over here. Um, trait points left. One. Oh, we can give you cybernetic for free. That's good. I I think we may just give you communal for more happiness. There you go. Cybernetic communal. So we're basically like borgifying them. I think that's okay. So presumably that's now ongoing. Traits. Radiated continental preference. Okay. So we can use you, if we find any more Tomb Worlds, we can give you stuff there as well, which is kind of interesting. Uh, unemployed Pops. Indeed. Lots of buildings. Okay, we can give you a Unity Monument. Um, Batharan Power Plant. Excellent. Upgrade you. Upgrade you. Do we have a grid on this planet yet? I guess so. Let's get the Loop Institute. Oh, and let's upgrade your central building as well. All right. Now, I think what I still want to do is make sure that any planet with, like, double-digit science... Well, that's only in one category. We might wait on that. Um, ...has the observatory. So you've got it. You do not have an observatory. And you definitely create a hell of a lot of science. So we're going to get you doing that. Excellent. What's done here? Centralized command. This leads to more biological stuff. It's quite fast, although so is the farming. No, let's go ahead and get the cloning. That's going to be okay. We really want the sentient computer stuff to come in again. Um... Oh, that's out of range. What? The project failed. That can happen?
Do we just do we just try again? Cybernetic, communal, uh, Arctic preference. Situation updated. Oh, I guess I actually have to hit that button to start the project. I see. Okay. Research complete. Hyperdrive two. Yeah. Um, super advanced power plants is probably what we want. I mean, just 5% more energy credits is also good, although I think this can be repeated, I'm not sure. Better shield's really good, and very fast, but no, if we can get, like, I mean, our money situation isn't bad now, but more power plant stuff, gooder. Uh, we don't have anyone who's got the industrial thing, huh? Should we check to see if there's a higher bolt? Ooh. I'm sorry. Do all our cyborgs get... 5% more research speed and lifespan. That's amazing! Custom AI assistant. Holy shit. Research speed and survey speed and all those things. So that's 10% more to that, but this would be 5% more to everything. So it's a little bit older. Okay, I guess we won't mess around with this for now, but... Oh, because we really have no influence. So, yeah, we can't go just hiring people at random, but... Okay, you finish that. Construction ship is over. Um, oh, yeah, I was doing this, and then we got interrupted. I remember now. There's really very little left here. There you go, we can get some minerals over here. That'll do. Um, with all these money, I think what we can do is talk to one of these curator enclaves. Aid us in research. There we go, 15% output for 10 years. Please. That's going to be very nice. So, we're also still waiting to be at our max naval capacity here. Um, oh! Oh my god, there's so many things to remember. Upgrade this building. We need to give a lot more love into this area. Um, once we've done that, actually, I think we can do that now, because... Uh, are we not already at the next level? No. I guess we'll wait for the Batharan power plant. Okay, I guess we're upgrading to the thing. Okay, that's fine. Um, yeah, there's so many things we want to do. But yeah, build the battleship cruiser. Keep going. Because I want to clear this out. And our special project here is still going on. Alright, let's bring the speed up. Mm, we probably can't catch you. Are you upgrading? Preparing for ship upgrades. How come you didn't start upgrading already? Were you on your way and then we just started a construction job here? This is just a science ship, so... I'm not too terribly worried about going out there and doing anything. Um, and then, yeah, we have this alpine world. It's 70% right now, but we can send the other species here and it'll be even better once we get that going. That'll be, like, a really nice planet to colonize. Size 19, lots of innate stuff, including science, including more Batharian. Uh, we've already got a presence here, so it's not going to change much in terms of borders or whatever. But So it's got 18k strength. That's got to be pretty good. I don't know. And you're orbiting Central HQ? Yeah, you are. Okay. I mean, you could get the thing there. Um... Oh, I think we already do. The uh, crew quarters. It's probably worth building the engineering bay here, though. Construction complete. Just because any ships it builds presumably has a lowered um, upkeep, and that's going to have a lot of value. I think Vega still needs a lot of lovin', and indeed that is the truth. Or that is the situation. That's what I meant to say. Um, let's focus on the minerals. No, money's good. We can actually start on everything. That's going to be okay. Uh, we are still a little bit more behind in engineering. Looks like that mega debuff to the engineering thing finally went away, so that's good. But yeah, we'll build a few of those. What? Are... Oh, it's the Frontier Clinic. Up! 
Lift successful. The dominant species on Xenia Archaeology, the sign have been uplifted. Only minor genetic alterations were needed to unlock their inherent potential for vastly improved cognitive ability and manual dexterity. Small cybernetic impacts makes up for the difference in the older generations. Okay, now they're not on a planet that they like anymore. Uh, Xeno Archaeology. Oh, that's in one of these places. Oh. Oh, we actually are going to have three planets in one system. So the habitability is still fine, which is nice to see. But yeah, so we're going to colonize here. We're going to colonize from this place using these new sign bird people. You can land on there. Bam. And we don't have to micromanage you. So that's always swell. Construction complete. Solar panel network. Spaceport upgrade for some more space. Um, yeah, you've got enough science, I think, to be worth a observatory. Lift up, follow up. The sign have been among us for several days now. All is well on planet archaeology. Okay. The fact that you had to tell me that is making me think that something bad will happen at some point. I am unpleased. I'm a little nervous. Build that. It would be nice to pick up this area, but I don't think it's worth building a frontier outpost, especially with our current um, numbers. Uh, this science ship... Right, you finished that. So I think you were going to go to probably Xenobiology. Was that where you were assisting before? Yeah, because there's a fair amount of tech there. It was either that or Xenobiology. Oh. That is Xenobiology. Yep. Yeah. Let's go back to assisting research over there. That's going to be fine. Preparing for upgrades. So why aren't you upgrading? Why are you preparing? What's the cost? 5,700. Well, that's what's going on here. Okay. Split in half. Now you go and upgrade. Thank you. According to reports, the newly updated assigned citizens on Xenia Archaeology grow anxious as the Tranquilian teachers uh, bring up the likelihood of contact with as uh, yet unknown entities from the far reaches of space. Uh, so they're going to become, what, xeno xenophobes? Let's see, what is alien test? Something opportunity in disguise. They're right to fear the unknown. Oh, this would give them xenophobe. There, let's make them xenophile. Xenophile's fine. Construction complete. And yeah, you will then queue up, and then we'll try to save up some minerals so that you can do the upgrade as well. Uh, yeah, it's shocking how expensive that gets. You need lots of surface cues. So, I mean, I'm talking about saving up minerals, but the fact of the matter is these guys still clearly need some stuff going on here. We should droid and uh, mineral processing plant. You know what? I think so. I think we're going to go pretty heavy on the minerals. Droid and mine and droid and... Oops. And mine... Probably here too. I mean, you know, so robots are going to invade us. That's okay. It's fine. And mine. Okay. Looking inwards. A statistically significant group of signed citizens appear unsatisfied with our teachings on the nature of the cosmos. An unknown individual or group among them is circulating some spurious codex that attaches undue importance to the sign and their uplif uplifting by the Quillian bureaucracy. Nothing will come of it. Let them have their mysteries. Set them straight. Oh, uh, we want them to be materialists, because I think that's one of our... Yeah. Make them materialists. So I guess we're setting their initial ethics at this point? Yeah, I've never uploaded this, or um, uplifted something, so this is quite fun. Oh man, we actually need some... terrain improvements of some kind here. Um, we don't need the growth rate from this. One Paradise Dome is going to be okay. Again, we have ridiculous amounts of food, but Paradise Dome is pretty fine. Uh, just a regular science lab. Military Academy is not bad. It's four extra tech instead of the three, although as we upgrade more things here, this does become stronger. I think we'll go with a regular science lab here. I think that's going to be okay. All 
All right, what else you got over here? Build mining station. So we've settled this place while well, they're settling with the new aliens. Governing shift. Who's pacifist now? The Zirin Slayers are now pacifists, despite what you th might think from their name. Sure. So you're upgrading. You're preparing to upgrade. Our mineral per turn is pretty good right now. I wouldn't uh, wouldn't mind more um, more energy per turn. Ooh, I can only insult you. Okay, never mind. What's this? Cloning done. Clone commandos. More army damage from uh, yeah, just them probably specifically. Gene tailoring. I'm going to pick this up, even though currently we've got too many genetic points. Unless it lets me swap out. Can I swap out my old adaptive trait? I don't think you can. I think you can only swap out bad traits. But it might be. If we can do it and we can free up points, it might be worth looking at. Because right now, if we look at... Sorry, species. And we look at ourselves. Yeah, we're at minus two. We've, like, overspent our points, so... Ethical change on Kumaloid. The natives on Kumaloid became enamored. Oh, are these one of the people we're uplifting? We're trying to emulate our ways. Value science rationale largely succeeded in wiping out religion. Oh, they're fanatic militarists. Okay. In the late medieval age. So there's still going to be a while before they, they join the party, but it's not too bad. We did settle that tomb world at some point. I, think, I can't remember if it's been converted. I think so. Or, or um... Terraformed is what I meant to say. So we're still... We've been in a war for a while, by the way. Star charts? Sure. Construction templates? Yeah. Building build speed. Uh, we are probably... Well, more tech would be nice. At this point, it's so expensive. I want to reveal the living metal here. And start working on, like, mega structure stuff. It's going to take a while to, to burn through that, but I'm okay with it. Okay, so one fleet has been upgraded. Oh, and you started upgrading. You actually had enough. Good, get started. It's going to be very handy. I think those are, we got like the new energy plants. I think we got shields. I think this is a pretty substantial upgrade. So I would love to settle some more of these planets here. Well, again, only if they're worthwhile. Only if they're big enough that we're going to get enough tech. Um, if they've got enough innate stuff. Uh, is colonizable. I Basically, I want colonizable not by droids is the, what I'm concerned about here. So this is sorted by size. I don't know, I don't think... Here's an Alpine world. But yeah, it's not it's not very convenient to pick places out here. I guess I'll just take a look to see if there's anything with a decent size, and then we can look further if there's any enjoyable traits. This is size 15 Arctic world. Fair amount of stuff, although... And it's got some more critters, too, and who doesn't love alien pets, right? Not a whole lot of based science. Uh, this Tundra world is big. It's got a fair amount of energy. I think we might do this. So, again, we'd probably want these fellows here. And drop you right there. Bam. There we go. Alpine world. That's what we're talking about. Colonizing that place will be good, because right now there's a gap in our little empire. Sign. Uh, there's no th nothing with already energy. We'll put you here, because there might be some adjacency bonuses that matter. Probably not a big deal, but what the hell. We do have this tomb world over here. Now, if I recall correctly, these guys... Yep. Irradiated. Tomb world habitability. Plus 100%. It's got a lot of stuff going on. It's got some buildings here, too. You go there. That's actually very, very nice. So once all the upgrades are done, we might go after these guys. I suppose we could look into popping out a couple more ships. We're pretty close to our cap. Well, that upgrade does take a while. Nothing special to do here. It's not like we're getting any new military tech anytime soon, so I think that's going to be okay. Did I look at this planet? Oh, yeah. It's not worthwhile. You finish your construction queue. You're going to be a very, very, very good planet. Okay, now we can go. The Theron power plant. Woo! 
You're building some robots. I mean, lots of great tiles everywhere. It's going to be wonderful. Um, I think over here we're going to plan the Unity Monument like that. We still have the artist bonus of 15%, which is nice. Vega Prime. You've got some cranky people. You also don't have any buildings here. Cloning vats. Ooh, give us a ton of society research, too. And let's build clone armies. You know what? Hmm. Maybe not on this planet, but on one planet we'll have to do military academy and cloning vats. I don't think this one. I think we'll just build some science labs here and here, and that's going to be okay. Oh, we have enough points for something. So, we've finished all these. Building upkeep, ship upkeep... Energy Grid and Nexus produce more Unity, which sounds pretty goddamn good. Cheaper terraforming, which might not be too bad. So this just saves us a ton of money all over the place. I mean, we're not doing this. I don't care about forming the federations. Per rival, Admiral Scrolls are increased, army damage. Is, yeah, prosperity. Plus, one of our factions wants that, so let's do this. I mean, at the end, we might unlock everything. I don't know. So you're done. Oh, you've got some territory here. Can you do this one as well? Yep, excellent. So go ahead and do that. Offer trade deal. Research, research. Okay, they're going to get more out of it. But that's okay. Boom. We're going to get plenty out of it, and that's all I care about. Again, this the interesting thing about this game, as opposed to something like a Master of Orion, is you don't have to go and beat everyone. It's not, you know, that's not the win condition. It's, it's, it's a little different. I wonder if these guys, if this might be the good place to set up our training facilities. There are a lot of unimproved tiles here. The Borbo franchise. Oh yeah, the franchise office. Could rename it. Where are you, Borbo franchise? Because I probably, just for convenience, don't want you to be somewhere that'll get sectorized. Well, I guess it doesn't matter as long as I remember that this is the place I want to train troops if we need some. Okay. Um, let's do it. Let's do it, um, instead of the Borbo franchise. Well, no, I want to keep the name. Screw it. I'll find somewhere else. Just because I want to keep the name. Do I want to keep this farm? Not really, but I guess I could develop a few more things first. Okay, I know what I'm going to do. Cloning vats. Um, military academy. It'll be Borbo Security Inc. Is what it's going to be. Boom. And we can hotkey this planet, right? Yeah, there we go. I'll try to remember that from that. Uh, oh, we finally peaced out with no demands. Yay, we're at peace again, you guys. I'm so happy. I love peace. No, that was just that. Is this the one that I did before? No. You've got some benefits. Yes, good. Minerals. Confirm. Okay. Do 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 do. Uh, alright, ship. Fleet. Merge up. So 25k fleet. Is it time to go? Sure. What could possibly go wrong? More lethal lifespan is always really nice. It takes a while to research this one, though. And we did get some lifespan boost. I'm just going to get eco simulation, just in case it leads to anything else. I mean, other than more hydroponic farms. It's really fast, so it'll, it'll reshuffle things very quickly for us. And I like that. Oh, we need a research lab over there. All right, well, you're going to go to aggressive. We're going to assign uh, an admiral to you. So they're all cybernetic, which is good. I don't care about the cost. 
Hull point good. Fire rate, really, I think, what I'm going to prefer. You're also the youngest, so there's more of a chance that you will level up further. So that's okay. All right, let's take on the Enigmatic Fortress. This is probably not going to work out. I'm betting it does not work out at all. A rendezvous, what? Hold on. The ISS Irskporska's name is being hailed by the syzygy of Quillian bureaucracy. I, I don't understand. This despite the fact that it isn't sending any ID codes we re re recognize. Oh, this is a ship called the syzygy. Okay. And no ship of the name has ever been commissioned. The syzygy's commanding officer claims to be Captain Wenwu. So the syzygy is the celestial alignment of three different bodies, which is cool. Our admiral of that name is alive, well, and elsewhere. Oh, so we have a captain. Wait. Is this the one we just hired? Oh, I bet you this event has been waiting to fire until we got a goddamn admiral. So the captain of the syzygy is claiming to be this person here. Okay. This must be an ambush. We have no choice. Battle station. No, no. Let's open a channel. Hello! The captain that appears on our screen is clearly Wenwu, but a scarred, haunted, decrepit, wrecked edition of Wenwu. Face glossy with plasma burns and older. Much older. The bridge in the background looks just as scarred and just as decrepit, but the captain's voice is firm and clear. Finally, you're here! I've waited so long! My punishment is to die in battle against you. Please, end me. I'm sorry. What? What happened here? Are you really win woo? If you want to end it, why wait? The warship is full of ways to die. What is the loop? Let's finish this then. Before you go, where have you been and did you learn anything useful? Or traitor? Um. Okay. I, I hope it's not going to just end. Because I like to hit the button with the trait, but maybe I can do all these things. What happened? Am I? Are you the same Tranquillion you were last year? Every day is a death. Every future is a choice. Time is a labyrinth, not a road. A chuckle. It sounds like a chuckle hurts. Ask the loop. Uh, okay. Warship's full of ways to die. Don't you remember? Of course you won't yet. And you might not now. Not if you do it right. The loop needs its sacrifices, and it needs them just so. An agonized, coughing chuckle. You don't want to trifle with the loop. What is the loop? The loop was is what came first and what comes next, the worm in waiting. And I suppose the worm is the loop. Let's say time is a labyrinth. The captain begins to gen gesture futilely. So it's like timey-wimey. Yeah. Um, then the loop is its monster, or its maker. No, I can't explain it. You'll know more soon. You did in my past. Weapons locked? Before you go, where have you been? Did you learn anything useful? The captain grins a scar stretch grin. I hoped you'd ask that. Sending data now. When woo out. The Syzygy is powering weapons. It's only strength 54. Um, battle stations. The static speckled message comes in from the captain of Syzygy in Walexia. Behind them, the bridge is wreathed in smoke. Too late, they coughed. You left it too long. The loop won't forgive me. Please. The message ends there. Investigate spe uh, the remains of the Syzygy. Updated. Name underscore Syzygy underscore remains. Okay. So let's grab our foundling ship and research that. Oh, this is our colony ship that ran away. Where was it supposed to go? Was it this one? It might have been. Construction complete. I guess we'll find out. Upgrade. Upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. Uh, we are losing a ton of money right now. We do have a ton of colony ships out and about, so that might be part of it. Governing shifts, okay. Somewhere else. You're done. Trade points, plus one. Unity output plus 10%. And I wonder if that's an upgrade over the others. You know what? I think that's going to be better. Oh, man. The trait points, though. That's cool. More genetic tampering. No. Let's get the form. <clears throat> Hostile looped syzygy. Hmm. Curious. Um... Let's upgrade our energy buildings.
and build more. Someone who's not building anything. Upgrade the energy building. Upgrade the energy building. Try to get as many of these going as possible. You're good and done. Upgrade you and you. I mean, we're going to be fine as, as soon as people, like, settle somewhere. But. Oh, we can replace that farm here. Okay, do that for now. Quantum field manipulation. There we go. Yeah, yeah. Ah, finally. Yes, we... Omega alignment. What? 10 physics research. That's really sexy. No, we're going to do the sentient AI. First of all, someone's already got it, apparently. It's going to research everything faster, and it's cool, and it's cheaper for now. So what? that's what we're doing. It's fine. Everything's okay. So you're going that way. That's good. This colony ship. I'm going to assume is the colony ship that was supposed to go and colonize this planet here. Nope, that's the one that's already got it. Okay, I guess I can check that way. But where else were we going? Pro right over here, maybe? That's a, that's a science ship there, right? So, there you go. You go colonize there. That must have been it. So, the sooner you colonize, the sooner we'll start making some money again, because we've got three of those. Uh, oh, the forensic analysis of that ship! Uh, we've discovered is uncovered oddities. All parts of the ship were constructed at the same time, using techniques that match our own methods of construction, but some components appear to be hundreds of years older than others. A power cell that we've recovered performs much better than it should. Furthermore, two analysts that were assigned to the project have recovered unexpectedly from chronic health problems. In one case, a possible, possibly terminal condition. The team is at a loss to account for this. Everything is fine. Nothing is weird. No one freak out. It's cool. So we're going to go and put a cut in here. Next episode, we're going to settle down a few planets. And next episode, we're going to go after the Enigmatic Fortress. And probably lose our entire fleet. But hey, that's fine. Thanks for watching. See you then.